Naples native Megan Musnicki wins gold as a member of the women's rowing eight team at the London Olympics. Musnicki is our second local Olympian to win a gold medal in London. Bristol native Ryan Lochte, of course, was the first. And this is such an amazing win when you consider that she only took up the sport of rowing, what, her freshman year of college? Yep. Robin DeWin joins us with this incredible journey that led her to the Olympics. One of my favorites. The women's eight rowing team faced their biggest challenge today, beating Canada for gold. But for Megan Masnicki, who grew up in a small town, no challenge is too great. After watching the gold medal race four years ago, she decided her goal would be London. And even after being cut from the team in 2009, she kept on trying. She says, with a little help. It's a banner that the Masnicki house in the small village of Naples waves proudly. Words can't describe how grateful I am to have grown up in a small town where they do care. Olympic rower Megan Masnicki now lives in Princeton, New Jersey, the home of the U.S. women's rowing team. We caught up with her before the London Games. Her spot on the women's A team, amazing. When you consider this natural athlete didn't take up rowing until her freshman year at St. Lawrence. I was going to play basketball, but the crew coach pulled me aside and said you should try rowing and... I didn't know what it was, but I was like, sure, why not? I'm just extremely uh, proud of her for actually achieving this goal that she set for herself, which initially I thought was crazy. Ms. Nikki looks like her mother, but is her father's twin when it comes to sports. I love the sport. I love winning. I love racing. Um, it's competing is kind of in my blood. Bill Masnicki providing his daughter with her competitive drive and ambition to win. But Bill would only see his daughter row just once. At the age of 49, he suffered a heart attack and died during Megan's freshman year of college. It was a catalyst for the achievement, but she, she definitely wa was a, a reacher and she wanted to achieve things even before he died, but this kind of, I don't know, crystallized everything. Megan transferred to Ithaca College to be closer to her mom. She went on to win two NCAA titles and decided to pursue a dream. I don't think there was a one day where it, it kind of hit me where I was like, um, I, I, I could do this. Uh, it's been kind of just a mental fortitude type thing all throughout the years, you know, because every day is not a good day. You know, I mean, it, it's, it, and it's hard to push through the bad days, but if you keep in mind your own goal, it's, it makes it worth it. Ms. Nikki keeps faith in herself with the help of both parents. Gail, a constant support from back home. Her dad, through a bracelet he gave her, she turned into a necklace in the shape of an oar, a touchstone of sorts that keeps her safe during rough waters. I know that he's watching over me when I race. I think about him all the time right at the start line, you know, when I get nervous. I have a conversation in my head with him, you know, I can do this. I mean, this is a big one. Really, I really need you here on this one. So, um, it. It makes me sad because I wish he was actually here physically to watch it, but I know he's watching. He was today. Megan's mom and Gail and her sister Jamie are both in London. The women's eight race will be shown tonight on primetime. And that chokes me up. Yeah. <laughs> it it chokes, chokes all, all of us up. up. That's I'm a good sure story. dad was there. Yes. It's just so nice for her sister and her mom to be able yep. to be in London to watch that today. And they have been with her through all of this. I mean, can you imagine your daughter saying in college, I'm going to do this. Yeah. And, you say, and, and, and she said, she says, outwardly, I said, sure, you know, that's right. great. Yeah. But, in, you know, inside she was like, are you kidding me? But, you know, obviously, uh, daughter knew best this time. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. exciting. Yeah. Robin When's Pink. the next Olympics? Oh, I, okay. I think I'll do that. <laughs> right. <laughs>